You're about to learn two things in 10 seconds. Number one, I'm feeling a little bit like Scrat from Ice Age. That was actually the squirrel thing. That was the first fun fact. The second fun fact is that we're gonna be unboxing the very last set of T7Rs in this size, in this finish, in the entire United States together because we actually bought the very last set. So if you guys are watching this, welcome to Martini Works Unboxed. I'm Alex Martini and on this channel we specifically talk about unboxing products that are available over on Martini Works. So if you're looking for car parts, you can mod your car at Martini Works. Anything from wheels, tires, performance suspension parts, we pretty much do it all. And we want to show you what's actually inside the box versus just one stock image and maybe some really crappy reviews that are 30 years old. So we've got this one right in front of us. This is for Ben's Ford Mustang, which is a little bit of a different setup. You don't really hear of work wheels going on Mustangs too often, but these ones are a staggered setup. I got four wheels over here, 19 by nine and a half, and the nine and a halfs are a plus 25, but we're gonna be unboxing the big Johnnies. These are 10 and a halfs, and these are plus 32. So this is a T7R with work wheels. Typically speaking, that number in there is gonna tell you how many spokes the wheel has. And since we're not looking at a two P, we're not looking at two piece wheels, we're looking at a one piece seven spoke, which is why it's called the Work T7R. So first things first, let's jump in to unboxing this whole thing. Work always does a good job with packaging their stuff, very effective. I like that they always put a cover on their stuff, which actually this costs money from the factory, so not every wheel company does it. All right, when you open up your wheels, you're gonna get a whole bunch of stuff that you cannot read, and that is A-OK, -okay, because sometimes, even if we could read, we don't, it's like a manual. The one thing you wanna keep is this thing. I really like this. I actually have it in my Nissan Z as well. It's got like the wheel spec certifications, things like that on it. Obviously, if you plan on keeping these wheels for a long time, I always recommend Keep all your paperwork. Be like that weird grandpa that just hoards shit in the attic because you just never know when you need it. All right, next up. In case you're wondering where they get their stuff, they get it from Uline. All right, anyway, there's actually an air stem in here too. Most of the time you're not gonna be able to use this, especially with TPMS, but it is a nice thought. So with the work wheels with one piece, you're probably paying anywhere from like 600 to 800 per wheel. So 2,400 to 3,200 bucks for a set, which is way up on the totem pole in terms of pricing. This is about double the price of what I would call like an entry mid-level uh, one piece wheel is. What you have with work wheels is you do have something called WFT. It's their version of flow forming technology, which means that the barrel is gonna have forge-like properties. The face is still gonna be cast. I'm gonna make a bunch of noise really quick. I apologize. Um, That, that is never going back on. Good news is we know Ben, I do apologize. All right, another thing that you'll always be able to tell if it's a work wheel that I personally love the most is that it has this nice little, uh, almost like saran wrap finish on the front. I don't really know what else to call it, but it does help protect the finish. Look on the back before we go to show you the face. Some really key things to keep in mind as to why you're spending more money on a work wheel than a non-work wheel. Number one, it's coming from Japan. Anything that's imported is gonna cost more money because you have to pay more fees. Number two, these guys have been in the business for a really long time. If you're new to the aftermarket wheel game, Work Wheels is one of probably the top five, I would say, in terms of brands that you probably have heard of and that you're thinking about buying eventually, either if you got your tax return or if you've been saving up all summer. But so there are some things that I do really like about Work Wheels that do make it a little bit worth more the money. The second thing outside of the fact you're paying for the tax, you're gonna see a lot of back pad shaving on this wheel specifically. They're trying to get the weight out of the wheel so that the wheel itself is not as heavy. You're gonna see that that's also playing into how they design the spokes on the inside. So carving this out also is going to save weight. And even from the back, before we check out the front, it's got a good amount of concavity. So I'm pretty excited to see how it looks. Now, one of the neat things about this wheel specifically is you're gonna notice that the barrel is black, but this finish on this wheel is actually GT Silver. The reason I have to check is because the one thing I don't like about work wheels, the color names are substantial. There's a freaking billion of them. I don't understand why. I don't know if they just pick new colors every month or what, but there's a lot of colors to keep in mind. So, you ready for this? The best, best part. Oh, it's like unwrapping a new Toshiba, you know what I'm saying? 
All right, let's put this right here. T7R, here's what the front's gonna look like. Absolutely beautiful wheel. I love the GT Silver. Now, Ben, the person who actually bought these wheels, was thinking about making them chrome, chroming them. Whether that's up to him, entirely his choice. My personal opinion, GT Silver is a super hot color, and I don't think he should chrome these. I think it's gonna take away from the design. That's just my personal opinion. So the two key things that you wanna keep in mind with this wheel specifically, because it's a seven spoke. How much crazier can you get with a one piece seven spoke design wheel? And I'll say there are two things that really make this wheel stand out. Number one, when you look at the spoke concavity, that's how the spoke bends to the actual center, the hub mounting surface of the wheel. It's not actually linear. So it's not just like a straight down line. It actually has a lot of nice gradualness. And if you really look, like if you're really a, a wheel nerd like me, you're gonna notice that right at the flange here, right at the beginning, it actually kicks up and then comes down. And visually what that does is it gives it an even more aggressive concavity look. That's something that with molds you typically aren't able to do, but work has managed to figure it out because essentially they made the mold come out a little bit just to give it that small definition, which is huge. The second big piece I love about the T7Rs. Now this one might be the last set in America, but that doesn't mean that there aren't other sizes available. But I will say another small piece, this real small milling, what they do to kind of give the design some depth is really cool to me. So if you look at this inner lip right here, you're gonna see that there's this little ball milling that happens. That's this, it's essentially a ball and it mills into the metal, but right here around in between every spoke. I love the way that that looks. It gives it a little bit of extra depth. Obviously you have some cutting out of the metal here. You've got a nice design on both sides of the spokes just to give it a little bit of a thinner look. Overall, you got the classic made in Japan, you got the work, you got working motion, the WFT, we mentioned what that means in terms of technology. Overall, it's just a really beautiful wheel. You are paying out the ass sometimes for work wheels though. So you do have to keep in mind that this is a more expensive purchase. With a more expensive purchase, it's gonna take a little bit longer for you to pull the trigger on it. So these come out from 15 inches to 19 inches and then seven and a half to 10 inches wide in terms of width. Offset is gonna be a pretty standard offset sizes. We'll put them up in the video right now for you, but they're gonna fit just about everything. But if you are deciding on if you want a wheel like this, there are three things that I'll say. Number one, you can never go wrong with work wheels. They look iconic. I think they look great. And me personally, I like one piece stuff just as much if not more than the multi-piece stuff just because you can get this on your car and you can still enjoy it. You don't have to wait a year and a half to get your wheels. I think waiting for stuff that long I don't know if it's really all it's cracked up to be personally, but that's just my opinion. Number two, I will say that you do still get the technology, so you still get the rotary forge. You get a nice, I'd say decently light wheel. It's not the lightest thing that you could possibly get in this size, but it is still pretty light. And third, the small details on the wheel just absolutely send it you know, through the, through the moon. I would say there's only a few companies out there that do debossing and embossing stuff on their wheels correctly. Work is one of the few, I would say, and I absolutely love this. And if you want another thing you can brag about, you can always brag about the fact that Work puts a nice little sticker on the inside of your wheel in case one day you forget what you have. You don't actually have to forget. You can just look at the sticker and it'll tell you. So call me Scrat, because I found the last nut and the nut's the wheel and I'm a square, that's so weird. If you guys are looking to know more about the Working Motion T7Rs, let us know in the comment section below. Like I said, we're helping people mod their car over at Martini Works. So if you do need wheels or you need something like this, shoot us a message over on the website because we're still adding products every single day. And sometimes it may not be on the site, but that doesn't mean that we don't have it. I'm Alex Martini, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Ben, thank you so much for the support. We'll see you on the next one.